I'm Norman McGuire, and I approve this message. What I'll do is I'll just, like, use a lot of stuff from an auto shop. Undedicated. One thing that I would like would be, um, making this simple. There's too much thing in the wall. Unmotivated. If I could change the activity program, I would make it so it was only one person that works for Maybe I need a system. Maybe you do. Contradictory. Are these the qualities you want in your activities director, America? I don't think so. What you need is me. You need someone who is dedicated, who is motivated, and who is always, always true to their word. I'm the right choice. So here's what you missed on morning coffee. Norman stopped talking to Holly after she taped him drunk and put it in her campaign video. Right out of their ass. They had a break in different cars, but both of them started missing each other. I think I need some Norman Lovin. The two of them made up, but we still don't know whose car Norman was in. I wonder if I left my underwear. And that's what you missed on. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. Do you know why I've asked you here this morning? I thought we were coming to hang out and drink brandy. No? No. You see, I don't know if you're up to date with your daughter's everyday life. Beatrice or Holly? Holly. Oh. You know your favorite? The baby. Yeah. The She's one that you dropped on the head. On her head several, times, times, several times. Several, several yeah, times. You, you can tell. If she were to shave her head, she probably would have some dents in that, in that scalp of hers. We're in the running to become activities director at Sunshine Acres, where we work. Of course, it, I should have just gotten the position since I was assistant activities director, but your daughter just had to be a douchebag and run against me. Not surprised. Being, because being medical record... Um, person who counts the numbers wasn't good enough for her so she tried to take my spotlight so I asked you here to get dirt on your daughter because who knows your daughter better than you I mean she came out of your vagina after all actually she was cut out but that's a different story she still came out of the hoo-ha I thought you guys you you just made up you your friends now um not that long ago we you... did we did but I want to win this this race and well quite honest her last campaign ad didn't make me look too good now I need to get revenge on her so I'm asking the people who know her best and so I'm starting with you so you ready you you, you ready I guess okay. so are you comfortable well this chair's kind of hurting my back Do you need a cigarette no are you sure no, I just had one when I was on the shitter a bong no too early too early? Really? I thought Holly's told me before that you used to smoke like five blunts before breakfast. No, I can't handle it anymore. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so first off, how long have you known Holly? I, I've, I've known her all her life. I mean, she started off in, in my ovaries and then her, her dad in his balls and then got together and... Out oh, came Holly. That was more than I wanted. He's got some nice ones. How well do you know Holly? I know pretty well. She is my daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, she calls me every day. I mean, a lot of times I don't even listen to her, but she calls me and I put the phone on speaker and I just kind of do my own thing, but I know her pretty well. I listen to her bitch. What's she bitch about? Oh, she bitches, bitches about her job and oh, really? that her... her well, she bitch about her job? What's Mostly it's job? about that woman that she works with. Uh-huh. What is her name? Susan? Susie. 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 We call her Susie. Yeah, she bitches about her all the time, how she's constantly not doing her job. And and then yeah. she she bitches that she's bored at work, so... Hmm. So Sunshine Acres is boring to her. I guess so. Sunshine Acres is boring to Holly. Okay. What do you think is Holly's worst trait? She's kind of a prick. 
she she has a, a trouble listening. I'm sure your friends are there. You, you know my dad is. She doesn't listen. Um, so I'd say that her her attention is just one of her worst traits. She can't pay attention for the life of her to even listen. What's the most disturbing thing Holly has ever done? She was born. Holly got on top of Beatrice and kneed her in the face and broke her nose. That's great. And I asked her, I asked her, I said, do you, do you regret doing what you did? And she said, no, she deserved it. That's a good, good little story, no doubt about it. Do you think Holly is a good person? I mean, when she was little, I used to have to smack that little bitch all the time because she wouldn't listen to me. She started young. Started real young. This is a real personal question. Something that I think a lot of people want answered. Like it's been a long running issue. Why does Holly always smell like cabbage? Holly smells like cabbage because I think it's the mixture of her body odor and like she's obsessed with like this certain smell and suave shampoo. She thinks it smells good but it ends up with the mixture of her sweat and body odor it ends up smelling like cabbage and she doesn't even notice it. I think I think her husband loves it but a lot of times I just I, I almost like breathe, just breathe out of my mouth when I'm around her because it's unbearable. Are you lying to me? No. There's gotta be a deeper reason why that bitch always smells like rotten vegetables. You mean to tell me that it's body odor? No, no, there's something else. Something in the hoochie. How would I know? She's my daughter. I thought she told you everything. She doesn't think she smells like cabbage, so why would you tell me? Ask her husband. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't, because I think you're just keeping a little bit of a secret from me. Is there a little family tradition that we all want to smell like vegetables? No. Does, 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 does Tony smell like radishes? Does Beatrice smell like... Well, she smells like a lot of things, but... Um... She's kind of a whore, so it's kind of hard to tell. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think she did do a vegetable theme, like Veggie Tales theme porn once. Uh, that was, I mean, um, not porn, uh, play, play. She did a play. Um, all right, Maydean's not supposed to know about Beatrice's porn career. Okay. Do you think Holly should be activities director? Not really. Tell me about some activities that Holly participated in when she was a kid. She didn't participate in much. She was kind of a nerd. She liked to read a lot. Um, she was part of some... You're lying to me again. No, I'm not. You can ask her father, you can ask her sister, you can ask her husband. She's still you, to this day. You want me to be convinced that someone like Holly, someone who's messed up in the noggin, didn't participate in some weird ass shit as a kid. I don't know, I was, I was drunk most of her so, childhood. So you mean to tell me that if we looked through her scrapbook as a kid, there's no pictures or anything resembling, I don't know, saint worship? Or maybe, you know, she experimented as a kid? Experimented? Like with like... Be not, beakers not, and... not, no, not science. No. No, I mean... Oh. Oh. I, I hope not. I don't... Did you? There was this time in high school. There was this girl. Her name was Tina. She used to be a boy. I think they call that what? Bisexual? Thanks. Is that what it is? Continue. Anyway, she... She wanted me to see her, her kitty cat, and I was like, Tss. I don't know what you're talking about. 
your kitty cat. You know what she showed me? She had a dick. Moving on. Do you think Holly will be mad to know that you're talking to me today? Do you care that she's mad at you? No. No, because she's a little bitch. Okay. Well, Maydeen, I would like to thank you for being a willing participant. You are more than welcome, Nolan. And just so you know, this whole thing has been recorded. Really? Yes. So when's Holly coming to pick it up? I don't know. I think she was coming after work. That's right, she had to go in on the weekend. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So it'll be a couple hours. You just want to go wait outside? <laughs> Hi. It's my turn. <laughs> what is? Where am I reading? This is episode eighty-eight, Holly. Okay. So here's what you missed on morning coffee. Norman stopped talking to Holly after she taped him drunk and put her in her mom. <laughs> uh, Why does Holly always smell like cabbage? <laughs> Is this legit on here? Yeah. <laughs> okay.